this is bad news for Tunubu. Powerful professor disappoints APC. Leaks one key factor that will determine tribunal judgment. Every day na good news. Every day na bad news. Whether good or bad, all na the same. What is this very bad news? And what is this key factor that has been revealed that will determine the judgment of the of of, of the court? Um, the in fact, the court ought to have given it verdict since. And um, I still doesn't know why the court is still delaying this. I said it that there is a reason for this. And the reason is now gradually revealing itself. Um, we have just how many days to... Uh, uh, it's not even more than 16 days anymore before Turbo can be sworn in. And... Uh, see what we are still experiencing the court is still in my rolling uh, you know deceiving themselves claiming that they are still on the matter no no they don't do things that way eyes are watching people are taking note of what is happening they are not fools now eh? they're not concerned granite <laughs> my people you go fear fear let, let's quickly um, check the content and get ourselves filled up with um, with the main story of the day. This is morning news. There appears to be a sense of ambiguity surrounding the variables that will affect the PEPC's decision regarding Petitions contesting the outcome of the winner of the February 25th presidential election amid the ongoing pre hearing at the PEPC and the preparation for the president elect Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu's swearing in ceremony. Adiwadli Oladipo, formerly the National Secretary of the People Democratic Party, PDP, and a professor of nuclear chemistry at the Center for Energy Research and Development, CAR, at the Obafemi Awolowo University, have argued that Asiwaju of the All Progressive Congress did not fulfill the requirements set forth by the Constitution to be crowned the election victor on February 25th. In an exclusive interview with Tribune, newspaper Oladipo claimed that the incoming president faces issues. You might recall that Mr. Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar has ri his rival from the People's Democratic Party are vying for the presidency in 2023. Oladipo said that the FCT cannot be left out in the constitution's provision to be declared winner of the presidential election listen to him when you read and the provision of the constitution it says to be declared president the candidate must get 25 percent of the vote in at least get 25 percent of the votes in at least two thirds of the states in the federation and the fct the provision did not say including, meaning that the winner must get it in, 25, in 24 states minimum. And the FCT, my simple knowledge of grammar, tells me that a winner needs to have 25% in FCT. I have not looked at the results of the person I neg declared if he did not get 25% of the votes in FCT. Then... There is still a problem. You see, it's very bad that we are trying to go out of the Constitution. It's very, very bad. And it's not good in any way. Well, um, 
the same way that left that uh, left the constitution will still be the one to return back to the constitution. Something that has been in constitution and been followed, you know, tenor after tenor, we are now want to alter it because of tenor. It is wrong. It's not. It's not right. No Allah. Uh, my people, when I don't hear the matter as they go. Um, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your own opinion and what advice on all that has just been taken note of um, right now, maybe. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.